Hey guys, I'm Nate. Hey man, I'm Brian Brushwood from The Modern Road. You watch The Modern Road, right? Please watch The Modern Road. If you don't, you should. Brian is out here because he wanted to know more about the hydro dipping we showed you in a previous video. Yeah, specifically, can you do it with electronics and how well does it work? We're gonna be trying that out today. DJI has sent us a Mavic Air to use in our videos. And while it does look pretty cool just the way it comes out of the box, we thought we could spruce it up a little bit. All right, so what's the first step for setup? The first step is that we need to get a box or some kind of container that can hold water and then we need to fill it with water, which we've already done. We've got a big old tub full of water. Oh. Did you know water's heavy? <laughs> Turns out. Turns out, especially if you have a lot of it. So that's the first step. All right, so we got a bunch of water and I assume we're gonna dip it in and what, you need a layer of paint on top and it just wraps around like yes. magic? Yes, exactly, it is a lot like magic. You need to make sure that your surface that you're trying to paint is well prepped and then you add paint into the water, it forms a nice little sheet. And as you slowly lower whatever you're painting down through it into the water, all of that color gets added onto whatever you're trying to color. In the last video, what we did is we made sort of bullseyes with the paint, always spraying one color inside the other color. And it does make a really cool marbled pattern, but I think we wanted to try branching out and see what happens if we spray a little bit more haphazardly. Can we get a good camo pattern that way? That'll be good. Now we're not gonna go for a camo pattern that will perfectly blend into the landscape around us. I think what we're going for is gonna be a combination of a couple shades of blue, white, and black. So maybe a bit more of a snow camo pattern. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, like an Arctic camo. Yeah, we don't have a lot of snow around right now, but I still think it's gonna look good. So what we're actually gonna try doing is removing just the top case from the Mavic Air, of course, and then we'll paint that. Perfect. Now before we throw paint on our Mavic Air, I do want to take it for a test flight and just drive it around a bit, see how it works. You know what this reminds me of is, uh, did you have Transformers when you were a kid and you needed the instructions to know how to get it to, <laughs> like, I, 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 how do I make it a robot? Right there, it's turning into a, I hope it turns into Optimus Prime, but I'm a little doubtful. <laughs> these are the landing gear and the antennas for the drone. Oh, that's clever. All right, so the controller, I assume these are antennas that go up and these things fold. <gasps> There's attachable joysticks, that's adorable. That is awesome. Much less likely to break off while you're transporting it somewhere. Oh, that's perfect. Uh, and these are handles. Oh, and, and, and of course, uh, if you have the DJI app, dude, this app is amazing, right? So you connect uh, into the camera view. There it is, there it is. Hello. Hi. It says ready to go. I'm ready. I'm gonna press the go up button, take off, hello. There we go. Holy cow. You're airborne. Dude, it's astonishingly intuitive. Here, you want to test drive it? I'll, I'll give it a shot. Can you, can you get it into the dome? This is so ominous. This is straight from the future. <laughs> Man, even in the breeze, it yeah, handles it's, itself really it's well. It's decently windy out here, but it's doing pretty good. It's got personality. I feel like it's, it needs a cute name, like QV7. The design reminds me a little bit of those portal sentries. <laughs> am I am I trying to land on that? Oh boy. <laughs> it's a little sketchy. I'm Come down. On. <laughs> Pretty sure this will end well. Woo! Ah, that was like the scariest angry bees landing on my head that I've ever experienced. Oh my god, that was amazing! Uh, a swarm of one drone coming at you. <laughs> That thing is, the precision is awesome. That's pretty nuts, especially with the amount of wind we've got out here. It was still able to stabilize itself pretty well and fly around just where we wanted it. Dude, that's great. Love this thing. Let's potentially break it. I don't want to just start spraying willy-nilly and then dip something in. I want to have at least an idea of what we're going to be going for. So I figured if we wanted to make it like, oh, you're saying do tests. Do tests. Of course, of course, yes, yes, I've yes. I've got white bulls that we can just hit these with primer. Yep. They should take the paint the same way and then we can just try a whole different spray patterns until we figure out something that'll work. Let's dig in. Do you have music for this part? It's helpful. <laughs> we didn't mention there'd be an athletic component. Yeah, right I forgot. Oh, my shoulders. Do you remember that Dreamcast game that you played the maracas for? <laughs> Must have missed that one. I didn't play a lot of Dreamcast. Most get, people didn't. Get ready in the comments. You, they'll remember it. Let's give it a shot. Whew. If All it's right. not mixed up enough, then we can just keep shaking them. Well, what do you want to do? Do you want to try doing the rings that we did before and see how that yeah, goes? Yeah, let's start with that. Right. Mm, white. 
See how that pattern's coming along? Dude, that looks great. Doesn't it look cool? Can we just do this? <laughs> do we have to paint anything? <laughs> All right. A That's a pretty cool pattern. Now it's going to close great. in a little bit. Oh, and it collapses so back. So now we can take the itself. bowl. Let's just lower this down through this part over here. It's like oh. a tie dye. Kind of drop the bowl a little bit, but lower down. And then just sort of shake it all off so it doesn't stick to it on the way back up. Okay. All right. That's where good. I good. where I dropped it, we had a little bit of an issue. It hit too hard and fast. But all around the outsides, look at those swirl patterns. Like, isn't that pretty freaking cool? Yeah, it's almost, I guess all we want is it for it to be a little bit patchier, right? All right, let's try going less this time. So fewer rings, okay. we'll just go through us, you know, yeah, uh, what we've works. got a few times. We'll have smaller amount of paint. Let's stop there, let's there see go. what happens. So there's definitely a lot less oh, going on. It's yeah. not so busy this time. Less like a tie-dye, more, more like camo. Now we just shake it around in there, separate it out. Oh, that looks great! Look at that. That looks like camouflage. How about we try, instead of just spraying it in circles, we get a little more fast and loose with it. We, okay. we just kind of spray around in some snakes, see what happens there. All right, I, I, I like snakes, said no one ever. That looks yeah. neat. Okay, so this is having just a couple of bands. Now we have a bands lot more circles. bands, a lot more chaos in there. Definitely some chaos. I'm liking this. What do you think about using less of the black? I feel like that'll give us more... Shorter shots with the black. Yeah. Black can be overpowering. Oh, this feels right. Ooh. Too much white. I don't know, I kind of like that. Yeah? Yeah, it's, I mean, this is the most concentrated spot and then it did hit a white patch. So what do you think? You like the banding or do you like the chaos? I, I like the banding more. I like it a little bit more open. Maybe not quite so open as that one where you only had like a few layers of rings. Yeah. But this is looking pretty good to me. Yeah. Yeah, so here, compare these. These all feel like art. This one looks the most camouflage to me. That does look pretty good. Just sort of a natural chaos. Okay, we've got a good strategy, so let's pop the top off, add some tape to protect the inside, and then hit the outside with some primer. Of these patterns, which one are we trying closest to emulate? I, I like this, yeah. yeah. This one, we do want a little bit of the black. This one I really like, and I think we got some of this splattering by getting down close to the water, and yeah. it would spurt out a little, so All right. I think that's gonna be our goal. Plenty of the light blue, which I think I have, light on the black, and medium of the other two, the white yeah. and the dark blue. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yes, sir. All right, I think we're good. What looks like the best spot to you? I wanna say this area right there. That right here. there? All right, here goes. We're going for that area right there. Only get one shot. You got it, you got it. Go dig, dig, dig. Just gonna let go of it so we can get all the way under. The drama, the drama's killing me. Oh, that looks fantastic. I think we nailed it. Dude, that looks great. That looks excellent. Oh, we got we got not too much black, plenty of the light blue, some of the splattering. That's what I was hoping for. We got like this ocean wave design. Yeah, swirls of the white coming in. I am loving it how this like looks. looks like the surface of like a frozen Jupiter, man. That's awesome. <laughs> Let's just add a shot of clear coat. Let that dry a bit, peel off the tape on the back, and we should be good to reinstall this bad boy. That's what we need in the studio is a disembodied hand that I can just stick tape to. This is officially the coolest looking DJI Mavic Air in production. Not even production, just custom made for us, by us. Brian, how do you feel about our drone? Better than we deserve. We're, we're artists <laughs> and didn't even know it. That looks so good. I love this color scheme. It goes so well with the colors already part of this. We've got the black and white that make up the body and the propellers. The two different hues of blue really make a difference as well. That little yeah. bit of splatter makes it look otherworldly. Everything just pops super nice. Very cool. Brian, for those of our viewers not familiar, tell me about your channel, The Modern Road. Dude, me and my buddy Jason Murphy are on a quest to become the ultimate gentleman, warrior, and scoundrel. We get up to the hijinks and shenanigans. Almost everything's held together with duct tape. It's a lot of fun. Guys, it's a great channel. Go check it out. New videos every Friday. Yeah. Mad science to magic tricks.
Do you ever notice that like airplanes, when they make them camouflaged, it's like, uh, you're supposed to think those are trees up there? Right you would think they would paint them blue. Planes? Yeah. You paint the bottom blue, and then the top you paint just sort of like the color camo. of the ground. Maybe the top could be camo that, that, in case that, that. there's a, a higher plane. <laughs>